Good evening, folks. This week's topic for discussion will focus on two of the many pivotal moments that took place in African American history. February is African American History Month. This month pays tribute to generations of African Americans who struggled with adversity to achieve full citizenship. First, I will be discussing Maya Angelou, one very influential African American woman who helped pave the way for other African Americans through her art, wise words, and perseverance. Maya Angelou, born Margaret Annie Johnson, grew up in St. Louis, Missouri. When she was only three, her parents divorced and she was sent to live with their grandmother in the small town of Stamps, Arkansas. As a young African American, Angelou experienced firsthand racial discrimination in Arkansas. During a visit with her mother, she was sexually assaulted by her mother's boyfriend. She returned home and spent years as a mute. Nevertheless, Angela knew that she couldn't spend her life like this. She moved on to big opportunities and started a singing and dancing career. In, 19, in 1961, she appeared in an off-Broadway production. In the 1960s, Angela moved to Ghana, working as an editor and writer. She also joined a community of revolutionist returnees. During this time, she became close with human rights activist Malcolm X. In 1964, she helped him set up the Organization of Afro-American Unity. Angelou spent time as a civil rights activist and a skilled author all at the same time. On May 28, 2014, the world lost a beautiful woman. She will forever be remembered. The next topic we will cover today is one of the most raw moments that took place in history. On September 15, 1963, a horrific terrorist attack took place in Birmingham, Alabama. At 10.22 a.m., bombs that the local members of the Ku Klux Klan planet had detonated. The church normally held meetings by civil rights activists, and in order to distract these meetings, KKK members would call with bomb threats. The bomb detonated on the east side of the building. It sprayed mortar and bricks, caved in walls, and filled the air with smoke. Four girls that were preparing for service were in the restroom of the building on that day. The lives of Addie Mae Collins, Cynthia Wesley, Carol Robertson, and Denise McNair were taken on this day. Not only were these lives taken, but their families were left in grief and despair. As a result of the, the attack, 14 people were injured. It was a tragic day in African American history and will always be remembered by many. These two topics brought out some of the worst times in history, but they will always be remembered and respected. Thank you for listening tonight. Make sure to tune in tomorrow.